Searching for something to eat in Lhasa, it's hard to miss this unique dining spot. It's a magnet for attracting hungry tourists, whether during peak tourist seasons or not. Shuji Nima helped to set up the Makiyam restaurant more than 10 years ago. He says the key to success is appreciating the flavors of its rich traditions and history. The name of our restaurant comes from a traditional Tibetan poem which praises female purity. It is said that 300 years ago, this place was a small bar. The sixth Dalai Lama, a great lama in history, lived here. A boiled lamb or roast mushroom dish reminds Chojinima of the grasslands where he once sang and danced. He says every dish has a story that dates back several hundred years, and he enjoys sharing those stories with his guests. For many tourists, the stories and the dishes are a perfect combination. Fu Ying says this is her second visit to Lhasa. She agrees that traditional tastes evoke memories of the past. I like traditional Tibetan food as it reflects the special features of the land. And as a tourist, you want to try the specialities. Traditional food mainly features yak meat or lamb. Some diet-conscious tourists are wary of the high calories. Traditional Tibetan food contains a lot of fat and calories. You definitely need it when you live on this highland. But if you can't stand it, Tibetan restaurants are making changes to adapt to today's tastes. The Sun Tribe restaurant and coffee house was established just one year ago. Although the decorations are Tibetan in nature, its dishes cater to all tastes. Restaurant staff says since customers are paying more attention to their health, chefs are learning to use more vegetables and less meat. Only half of the dishes on the menu are traditional Tibetan food. The other dishes are comprised of other Chinese favorites as well as a selection of some Western-style food. Meanwhile, other restaurants in the region are developing what the local people call Neo-Tibetan food, using Tibetan ingredients but cooked in very different ways. Chu Li Chun is the president of the Cooking and Restaurant Association of Tibet. One of her main jobs is to test the new dishes and see how they can be perfected. She is now promoting dishes using Tibetan vegetables and livestock, which she says are 100 percent organic. Tibet has a lot of vegetables and livestock that are unique to this region. We want to promote these food products. We have more to offer than just meat or milk in Tibet. Whether it's newly developed or traditional cuisine, visitors to Tibet now have a more colorful selection of choice for enjoying the unique tastes of the region. Xie Zhengjigang, CCTV, 